So today's video is brought to you by my very own coffee, Just A Dad Simple Sip Coffee. It's available in a K-cup, whole bean, and pre-ground 16 ounce bag. You can find it at justadadcoffee.com or right underneath the video, you will see the products displayed and you click on them and purchase them right there. Hello everyone, this is Just A Dad. Today I'm gonna do an unboxing and show you how to put together this Dream H12 Pro. So it comes in a nice box with a nice handle. Let's open it up, see exactly what comes inside the box. Then I'll show you exactly how to put it all together. So we've got some, this box looks like we've got some stuff in it. So let's take the boxes out. Let's just take all the boxes out. There's the handle. Yeah, nothing in this box. Now this center part is pretty heavy, it looks like. So be careful. Here's the actual unit. We've got the base station. Looks like we've got some solution. Okay, let's take everything out of the plastic. And Miss Fiona has come for her treat. Okay, so I've got the plastic off everything. There is a quick um, how to put it together on the lid, but we also have a manual. So in this box, looks like we've got some attachments for the charging station. We've got a cleaning brush. Looks like a, probably an extra filter and an extra brush. And we do have some cleaning solution right here. We got to put the handle on. Here's the charging base. So underneath here, there is this piece of cardboard. You're going to want to make sure to remove this cardboard. We've got some plastic all over. They want to take, this is the clean water tank. Take it out so you can take the plastic off. So it looks like this is the clean water tank. It's got an opening here. We're gonna fill it up with water. <clears throat> Here's the dirty water tank. Press the button. Yeah, again, take it out to remove the plastic because it wraps around it. So there's the dirty water tank. It does come with the filter already installed. So let's take a look. There's no more plastic up here. Let's take a look down here. Nothing down here. So we can take the, the press this button right here and it looks like the roller will come out. It says do not get this area wet. So here's what the roller looks like. like there not sure oh yeah there's little holes right up here where the solution comes out so put the roller in you have to turn it till it snaps in and snap that in I think I, I can take this lid off there's some more plastic down here wraps around all right so it looks like the handles very easy to install um, it's got a notch, so and the handle's going to point forward, so just kind of like take it like that and push it in. If you need to take it out, you can put a little screwdriver right there, put it out. Here's the display, another piece of plastic. Here's the handle, two buttons. Auto mode. Whoops, it turns it on, so be careful. Looks like we've got sensors. We've got some electrical connections right here, so it must sense when the water tank is full and lets us know. Yep, putting it on. Another sticker there. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna wanna turn this off. There is a power button right here. Powering off. Powering off, okay. Okay, so here's a close up. Here's the charging station and the self cleaning station. We do have, looks like these trays one goes on each side that's like where the extra brush goes you are gonna have to plug this in and it's gonna charge it through these connection right here 
brush, filter, and roller. I like that. That's a nice setup. Here's what the bottom of the base station looks like. 120 volts, 60 hertz, 0.8 amps, 150 watts. It outputs 27 volts at 1.7 amps. Okay, so it looks like we have a voice prompt settings. I'll look in the manual for that. Here again is the clean water tank. Open it up, you're gonna fill this up with water. Here's the solution it comes with. The cap, I took that foil off, but the cap is the measuring cup. Okay, let's take it over to the sink. You gotta hold it kind of at an angle to fill it up with water. We're gonna fill it up with water first and then we're gonna add our solution. Now there are markings on this lid. They're a little, they're on both sides. You gotta hold it in the light just right. But you can see the middle one is 15 milliliters and then the second, that one right there is 20 milliliters. The directions say take 0.34 ounces or 10 milliliters. Okay, so let's pour it up to the 10 mil. It's not very much solution at all, right about there. And now you're gonna dump that into there and close this. This goes on and off very easy. Just kind of set the bottom in, rotate it, clicks into place. Again, there's the dirty water tank. It goes on and off very easy. There's that filter. Put the bottom in, rotate it till it clicks. And we can take this part off again and take the roller out. Yeah, this might be a little easier to take the roller on and off if you take that cover off. So here's a close up again. Again, don't get this wet, it says, but there's little holes right there. That's where the solution comes out all along there. And then there's like this wiper. Then put the brush on. You gotta kind of push it on over here. There's like an O-ring and then just snap this into place. Yeah, it all seems very well made. Okay, so this is a little different. So right here, there's some air vents for drying when we put this on the charging station. Okay, so I've got the unit plugged in and now we're just gonna set it on here. Charge. Yeah, so setting that on there was a little tricky. You can't just come straight down. You gotta kind of put the front in and then kind of rotate. Charging started. Now the display does light up. It looks like it's got 15% 15, 15 charge. Okay, so let's take a look at it real quick. Again, I got a power button here. It looks like a mode button. Let's take a look at the display. So I'm gonna hit the power button. And then I'm gonna hit this uh, this mode button here. Ultra mode. Ultra mode. Okay, suction mode. Suction mode only. Auto mode. Ultra mode. Suction mode. Three modes of operations, and then we've got some warning lights here. Yeah, so this is the self, uh, dr the drying mode and the self cleaning mode. That's what these lights are. And then the warning lights are right underneath the, the battery percentage. Here is the self cleaning button. So there's three buttons self cleaning. When you have it on. Yeah, you got to have it on the charging base for self cleaning. And again, power mode. Auto mode, ultra mode, suction mode, powering off. Auto mode. Okay, so I've got it in auto mode. It's not gonna start until I kick it over center. It has to come off center. Looks like we got a green light. And I can tell it's putting down, there is no trigger to put the water down, the solution. It's putting the solution down and suction it automatically. Okay, let's go to ultra mode. Ultra mode. It has to prepare the solution, it says. I'm not sure if you can see Ultra it, mode prepared. but it is kind of fizzing down here, bubbling. All right, now we're in ultra mode. Again, it's, it's relatively quiet and it's putting the solution down. Then I can go to drying mode, suction mode only. When you're in suction mode, it will not put down the solution. Okay, so let's put it on its base. And now we can hit the self-cleaning mode. Please put the appliance on the charging base for self-cleaning. All right, it is a little tricky. Okay, it has, started. has to go down in that detent a little bit. Sometimes it gets stuck. 
Now I can hit the self-cleaning button. Preparing ultra mode. Please wait for 30 seconds. So it has to wait 30, has to prepare the solution for self-cleaning. And then that display kind of counts up. Ultra mode prepared. Starting self-cleaning. Okay, so during the self-cleaning cycle, it says it, it will direct heat to help dry the roller. Um, it, it does the solution and rinses the roller, but it says you can empty this tank out. Then it goes into a drying mode. I can't really feel the heat, but I could kind of smell it. All right, so here's the tank just after that little bit. Yeah, it's not very dirty, but I can get in there and rinse all that out and get it nice and clean. And again, if you get this filter wet, once in a while you do have to clean that, but it did a good job. But if this, if you have to clean that and get that wet, you have to let it dry overnight. Before, so that's why they have the spare one. Okay, so again, I just did the basic self-cleaning mode. It, it automatically goes into the drying mode. It'll first start over in self-cleaning. I emptied the tank. This has just been kind of a continuous rolling. It's not real loud. I can sort of feel the heat. I took this off just for demonstration. It should stay on but I took it off. I can sort of feel some heat going around the roller. You know, the roller's not real hot. I don't know if there's a fan or a heater in the base that's blowing air out those little vents, but I think this is gonna take a while because we're only at 10%. And it's been about, this keeps counting up and it's been already about 10 minutes. Okay, so that took a little while. It just kind of, you could hardly hear it, but it was just turning. There's definitely a fan in here. When I took it off, um, you can feel the air is not super hot coming out these vents, but I could definitely hear a fan in here. It's not really loud. And again, the, the hot air is not really hot, but you can see it, did, it does a good, good job of drying that. Also, this green circle tells you that your floor is clean. If you've got a bunch of dirt and mess on the floor, it's going to sense that and that green circle will turn red. And again, round back, there is a, you can turn the voice prompts off. I recommend keeping them on. But if you press and hold for three seconds, you can set the language. Press and hold to confirm the selection. You can also adjust the volume. So let's press it. Low volume selected. High volume selected. Voice prompts off. Okay, so you're just cycling Voice through. Voice prompts on. Low volume selected. Okay, low volume. That sounds good. Okay, so this retails for $500. They do have a $150 off coupon for it. That's about the right price, 300 to 350. Now, this is a pretty nice. I got to use it for a while, but it does seem pretty nice. That drying, I have not seen that in any. That might really help uh, eliminate a lot of things with the roller head. Again, that, but it takes a while, but it's not noisy or anything. It is a little on the heavy side. And then once again, they're not doing a good job of explaining, uh, you know, auto mode, it tells us, but this um, ultra mode, it does something to the solution. It like electrifies it in the back. Um, they don't really t explain that uh, mode very well. Drying mode, it doesn't put solution down, but you can go around and uh, I don't know if you can pick up little debris or something. Like if you had a bunch of sand, uh, pick that up first and then do that. Or just kind of like if you had a big mess, just dry that up. I'm not sure. I mean, a lot, I mean, this thing looks pretty much like a, a Tenneco with the roller. It does have edge to edge. I mean, it's not super edge to edge, but it does look like it's going to do a pretty good job. I mean, these are real easy to use. The display is nice. It doesn't, as far as I know, it doesn't connect to the Wi-Fi. It doesn't connect to your app, which I've not found a good reason for those to connect to your app or your phone. I do love the voice prompts. I love that it comes with all the extra stuff, the brush roller and everything. They don't tell us when you're in auto mode, when that circle goes red, does it put down more solution? I got to figure that out. Does it ramp up the suction more too? Uh, not real sure that, you know, they just don't say a whole lot about this. The directions are okay. They're just very basic. Kind of goes over some error messages and it doesn't really explain 
the drying mode and all of that. Yeah, they're calling this a wet and dry vacuum. Yeah, so they kind of explain the drying. And again, there is a dryer in the base unit. Says it has edge to edge. Underneath the video, I will put a link to this. I did buy it off of Amazon. I am an Amazon affiliate. If you click on the link, the product won't cost you anymore, but I will get a commission from the sale. So thanks everybody for watching my video today. Underneath the video, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that really helps out my YouTube channel. Again, you can purchase all this coffee right below the video. You'll see links to them or go to justadadcoffee.com. I really do appreciate everybody's support. Recently, YouTube just sent me my 100,000 subscriber plaque. That would not be possible without everybody's support. So again, I really appreciate it. I'm excited for this new adventure, branding my own coffee. Um, it, it tastes really good, and I hope you're going to definitely like it again. Hoping somebody asks you what your favorite cup of coffee is. It's just a dad simple sip coffee. And again, thanks so much for watching the YouTube channel. Also, be sure and check out my Just a Dad videos group page on Facebook. This is where I do my free giveaways. So when I'm done with my products, I do a free giveaway on there. And you can kind of see behind the scenes of how I make my videos. Also, check out my podcast, Coffee with Dad podcast. This is where I interview different people. I love to hear everybody's story, and I just think everybody has a story they want to tell. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button, and thanks so much. Miss Fiona always knows when I'm doing a recording. <laughs>